And we are ready for our next quarterfinal match here on Curie Theory 6 lining up. They are trying and got a hatch panel on the side of the rocket for the Red Alliance. Rocketeers quickly got one on the side of the cargo ship for Blue. Almost time for a teleop. That sound means that the sandstorm is now done. Rocketeers coming back with another hatch panel from their human player station, but now they have to fend and deal with 177 Bobcats who are playing defense up against Rocketeers. Rocketeers lifting up. They have a hatch panel trying to place it on the middle level of the rocket. They've got it. Meanwhile, the Chimeras, another blue robot, are lining up. They've got a cargo into the first level of their rocket. Now they're going to try to grab another hatch panel. Bobcats coming back, knocking into Rocketeers. And it looks like the Bobcats were tipped over during their altercation. Looks like Bobcats are down for the count for the Red Alliance. Now it's just Airstrike and Theory 6 left to their own devices, playing offense up against Team Thrust, our triple level climber from Indiana. Theory 6, they were able to get a cargo into the ship for the Red Alliance, but now they're headed back to grab another, even up against defense from 1501. Airstrike. They are trying to do double time now. They're not bothered by defense like their partners, so they have to make up for it. They've got the first level of the rocket done for the Red Alliance with 50 seconds remaining. Rocketeers quickly placing another cargo into the ship for the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, the Chimeras are doing the same for Blue on the other side. They've got it in, 40 seconds remaining. Rocketeers, Chimeras going back and forth with cargo to fill up the ship. Airstrike for the Red Alliance has the same idea, even up against defense from 1501. Theory 6 is now able to have a hatch panel. Looks like they're looking for a place to put it, coming over to the other rocket. 20 seconds remaining, 1501. Still playing defense up against Theory 6 and Airstrike. Airshake was able to get around them. 10 seconds remaining are now trying for a level three. So are the Chimeras over on the Blue Alliance lining up. Airstrike is up. So are the Chimeras just barely. It looks like the Chimera's foot is down. We will see how the referees are able to score this match. The projected score is tied. That is not guaranteed because the Blue Alliance did earn that red card. That means that our number three alliance will be moving into this next matchup with an advantage. The Blue Alliance obviously will be looking to come.